we went to solve the given matrix equation. Notice how the matrix equation is in the form of matrix A times vector X equals matrix B. Looking at our notes below, the next step is going to be to find the inverse of matrix A and then write the equation in the form of A inverse times A times vector X equals A inverse times B. Notice how we multiplied both sides of the equation by A inverse. On the left, A inverse times A is equal to the identity matrix I, and the identity matrix times vector X is equal to vector X, and therefore the solution for vector X is equal to A inverse times B. The next step is to find the inverse of matrix A. To do this, we will use the Desmos matrix calculator. We begin by clicking on new matrix, change the dimensions below. Notice by default, it is matrix A. And now we enter the elements. Once done entering the elements, press enter. And now to find A inverse, we click matrix A, and then click the inverse key, and enter. Let's convert the decimal to an exact fraction by clicking convert to fraction on the far right. Let's go and record A inverse and write the equation in the form of A inverse times A times vector X equals A inverse times B. So we begin with A inverse. Times matrix A. times vector x equals, on the right, we have a inverse times b. So again, now the equation is in the form of a inverse times a times vector x equals a inverse times b. And a inverse times a is equal to the three by three identity matrix, I, so we have I times vector X equals A inverse times B. The identity matrix times vector X is equal to vector X. Vector X is equal to A inverse times B. So now let's go back to the calculator and determine A inverse times B. If we want to, we can verify that A inverse times A is the three by three identity matrix by clicking A times A inverse, enter. And again, notice how we do have the three by three identity matrix. Before we find A inverse times B though, we do have to enter a matrix B, which is a three by one column matrix. Click new matrix. By default, it is labeled matrix B. Change the dimensions below. Enter the elements. Enter. And now we need to find A inverse times B. So A inverse times B, enter. And now we know the components of vector X written as a column matrix. Which is the form in which we are asked to give the solution. I hope you found this helpful.